All right, fellas, we are on day four technically, but I'm gonna count it as day three because yesterday I really didn't do anything. I literally logged in, did one Slayer task where I killed some bears and got a looting bag, got that task done, so that was that. Was that. But uh, for now, I'm going to go and basically show you guys around uh, Taranwin and what we actually get from that. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we're not gonna be able to do quite yet, but uh, I'll show you about the place. First teleport to Taranwin. So, this is the uh, Melea district, I hope I pronounced that right, who could have those. There's a uh, spirit tree here, there's also this herbalist shop which is going to be the uh, the main place where I'm going to be able to get Eyes of Newt. Um, that's probably all I'm going to need ever actually, so I've, I've done that. Um, there's also some stalls here, a gem stall, a silver stall that are both going to be good for getting uh, silver ore and, um, and some cut gems. Unfortunately they're not uncut gems, which is a shame because I can't train my crafting with those, but Still, uh, that's that, so that's that kind of does it for this district, to be honest. And then this is the uh, Kyrus Kyr Kyr <laughs> district? Uh, oh god knows how you pronounce that, but... Uh, this is notable for having some uh, teak trees over here, and mahogany trees next, right next to a sawmill. And there's two allotment patches and a flower patch here. Uh, there's a crystal tree patch as well, and there's a farming shop, but there's really not much in that that's uh, that's worth noting apart from you know compost packs and sack and basket patches which might come in useful but for the most part that's kind of all we get here this right here is the Kadan district the uh, notable things for me here are the uh, range shop where I can get unlimited rune arrows along with a couple of bows that I might uh, might nab for some early range training um, there's also the general store here and three yew trees along with the bank which I believe is the second closest bank to a furnace and anvil in the game, second only to the one in Shiloh Village, which has a closer furnace. Um, but the, this this is going to be a great place to um, to train smithing once I've got uh, a ton of ore, which I'm going to quite easily be able to get thanks to uh, endless harvest. Right next to that district is the uh, Treyhern district, uh, which is technically where the uh, the furnace and um, smithing anvil is, but. Um, you know, it's it's that's more prevalent to being close to the bank, more more relevant to being close to the bank. So, this uh, this region is mostly about miners and smiths and stuff. It has a store here where I can get my rune pickaxe, which there we go, that's that done. Um, there's a teleport that takes you to Zalcano, the uh, the mining um, boss. There's a there's also a mine here where you can get the soft clay rocks uh, in Treyhorn Mine, uh, along with a bunch of other stuff. It's actually probably going to be um, one of the best places I can train mining in the game, to be honest. Um, the singing bowl is also here for when I get uh, later on in the game, get the uh, weapon and the uh, armor shards. And um, yeah, that's kind of it here actually. Right here is the Iowerth district. Um, that has the entrance to the Iowerth dungeon, um, basically a slayer dungeon. Uh, there's an armor shop which has some interesting stuff. Um, you know, rune plate legs, rune full helm. Um, doesn't have a rune play body, but that doesn't matter because we can get that in Edgeville. Um, there's an armor, uh, like an armament shop, a weapon shop that has a rune simi in it. I'm actually going to show you guys that real quick because this has some really cool stuff uh, thanks to Fire Sale. Um, this is actually the only shop in the game, I believe, that sells dragon halberds. And because I am, um, you know, a, a Fire Sale enjoyer, I can set my left click to buy and suddenly oh look I have infinite money uh, these high alk for 150k each so that's obviously incredible uh, and then I'm obviously gonna grab a rune simi as well um, because I'm gonna need one of those for early melee training um, but that's pretty useful stuff from this region uh, of Prif um, there's also these two gladiators fighting over here but you can't join in which is a which is a shame this is the Ithil district, there's a POH portal here, uh, there's a singing bowl here as well, uh, another place to create crystal equipment. Um, there's a dye shop which has all, all the dyes in the game, there's a clothes shop um, which is... I can't find it suddenly. Um, yeah, there's a clothes shop here that has some stuff, nothing too useful. Um, a seamstress, a uh, crafting shop, and... Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of it. There's a spinning wheel and a loom here that's found inside the uh, the uh, seamstress's shop, um, run by Nia, which I uh, can't remember where it is. There it is. So there's a, uh, a loom and a spinning wheel in here, um, so that you can you know, create some stuff in here for crafting stuff. But um, 
and she kind of has a lot of the, the ingredients you'll need for that. But so maybe some early crafting levels there. We'll see. Over here is the Amlod district. There's a couple of useful things here. First of all, there's some magic trees here, um, which is a useful thing because they're quite close to the bank over there actually. Um, there's a staff shop, which you know doesn't really matter. There's one in for rock anyway. Um, there is a uh, rune shop, which is actually probably the most important thing uh, about this area. Uh, because once I get up here, uh, we'll see the kind of runes they sell. Um, they sell bloods, deaths, laws, gnats, cosmics, ba basically every kind of rune I'm going to need in the game. Um, and I can get a ton of them here for free, so that's super nice as an unlock with this region. And of course, this is also where the gauntlet portal is, but I'm not going to be going in there for a little while. And then finally, the Heffin district. There's not really that much useful here. This is where the entrance to the agility course is over here. Um, there's a, a bank which is the closest bank to a sand pit, but that doesn't really matter either because I can get infinite buckets of sand from the uh, charter ships. There's a mace shop which doesn't really matter. There's uh, an Amrod guy that uh, exchanges crystal shards for crystal equipment seeds. Um, there's an altar. There's uh, an entrance to death's domain, and then there's the inn, and that's kind of it that's over here. So again, this is um, this day is not really going to be uh, too much in the way of uh, interesting stuff to get done. I've just basically got a lot of tasks to get done. Um, I'm obviously very behind everybody else at the minute, so um, I maybe have like four hours today, five hours to just bang out as many tasks as I can get done. So today is going to be a bit of a speed montage of uh, me getting some tasks done. So yeah, let's get started. So real quick before I leave Prif, I'm just going to basically just buy all of the uh, the runes I'm ever going to need over here. Um, a bunch of gnats, a bunch of cosmics, uh, a bunch of laws. Uh, I'm probably not going to need deaths and bloods for a while, but I'm going to take some anyway. Uh, and then I'm also going to go ahead and get a bunch of root fire runes here uh, and start high alking these uh, dragon halberds because this is going to get this money stack is going to be massive. I guarantee it. Oh, you really going to ask me? So I literally sat here for like maybe five minutes, probably less than, uh, and out just those. I think it was 110 dragon halberds that we uh, that we bought, and uh, I've got a green stack, 17 mil, easy. I'm literally never going to need it, but um, that's cool, I guess. Um, we also got to 58 magic uh, really fast, so. Um, what this opens up is another sort of passive training method, you know, uh, similar to fletching, you can uh, run around, let me show you, you can run around and uh, fletch at the same time while you're doing other activities, uh, while you're doing like tasks, run around doing achievement diaries or you know, whatever, uh, you can you can train it sort of passively while doing other activities and high alking is the same, you can high alk while moving, um, so I'm kind of, once I've done with the passive stuff with uh, fletching, I'm going to be able to start high alking stuff as I run around as well, which is a nice, uh, like I said, a nice passive bonus. So that's an easy, uh, easy way to get um, some higher magic levels. So first thing I'm going to do is probably uh, get some pickpocketing done uh, to train up my thieving. There's a couple of tasks locked behind uh, getting 40 thieving. There's actually, um, what is it? Let's see, there is 80, 120 points just locked around getting to 40 thieving. So. Uh, I'm going to do that, and uh, yeah, that's uh, three easy tests and 120 coins. Okay, we just got 40 thieving. I'm actually going to stay here a little bit longer because I only need one more uh, robe and one more cloak, I believe, to complete two sets of ham robes. So I uh, want to do that so I can uh, not have to come back here again, basically. Oh, we reached a uh, total level 750 as well, that's nice. All right, we uh, we got all of the uh, the ham roads we need. We actually ended up getting to 44 thieving, so we got a little bit above what we need. But that's going to make the other tasks a little bit easier. Uh, so now we got to go do some pickpocketing around the place. First off is drain a village. This one should be pretty easy. I just need to pickpocket a master farmer successfully. Uh, don't get it first try, but that's fine. How about second try. Go on, go on. No, nope. okay. Now we'll see how long we'll be here for. Literally the uh, the third try after I hit uh, hit the save on the replay there. Literally the second and third try we got a successful pit pocket. So that task is done. Next we have a few tasks to get done here in Varrock, but I'm actually just going to cook up some of these uh, trout that I've got in my inventory while we're here. All right, now we've got to uh, sit here and pickpocket some guards. 
there's the first task. We've got to pick pocket a guard once, and then we've got to full got to get a full inventory of the coin pouches. Okay, here we are. We've just finished pickpocketing. We've got a full uh, stack of pouches. So if we open this, there we go. Task completed. At least 800 coins uh, from pouches at once. So that's another task done. Another task done for cutting a sapphire. I easily got one of these from uh, Moral Wreck. Actually, I'm considering um, doing the old, you know, strategy of buying a bunch of uh, emeralds to train crafting. Because even though I don't have desert, I could do it here. And they really don't cost anything. I mean, 75 per emerald, and uh, I've got 133k tockle. So it might be a way of training uh, crafting. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this isn't a bad way of training crafting. I can um, at least get some early levels here. Uh, it's a bit more difficult to bank. I have to run over here to, to, if I wanted to bank stuff. Um, but I probably don't need to, to be honest. I can buy cut gems from uh, from places where it costs, where it's free because of fire sales. So I probably don't need to worry about that. Okay, we. Uh, I was here for maybe like five minutes. Uh, got 50 crafting. I was started at like 21 crafting, so that's pretty good going. Uh, and we literally didn't even barely use any tockle, so uh, other than being able to quickly sell them back, you can have to drop them on the, on the floor. This is kind of the same XP rate you could get in the desert. I'm not going to go any more because I'm going to wait until I get higher XP rates to train anything thoroughly, but I wanted to get to 50 because that's when I can make mahogany birdhouses. Okay, another task to get done here is to pray at this altar. There we go, pray at the Southern Chaos Temple altar, brilliant. Okay, quick moss giant kill. I've got, uh, got a strength level with that as well, so that's nice. There we go. Defeat a moss giant. That's a task done. Alright, my next task is to use the bank in Letya, uh, which is apparently easily accessible if I uh, use a charter ship to go to Port Tyrus, and then I follow the path through the forest to uh, get to get to Letya and use the bank there, and that's a task, so let's see. Okay, so yeah, apparently I just need to follow the... Uh, through the forest here. This is the thing, I actually, this is the first time I've ever come through, uh, come through, like, Prifidus. I've never been to Ranwen before ever in my life, so this is, uh, yeah, interesting. I don't know where I'm going. Ah, oh, that's a task I didn't know I could do here, brilliant. All right, here we are. We are at the bank in Letya, and that should be a task. Yep, cool. I actually also didn't realise there is a task for chartering a ship from Prif to Port Tyrus, so I could have done that instead. Um, but I'll go do that now because I have infinite money and who cares. There's another task here for talking to Ilfine as well, so there we go, that's done. There we go, another task done. I'm really banging them out. I've also got to kill a moss giant in uh, in Taranwin, so should be able to get that done over here because there's pro uh, apparently a load over here. Okay, maybe I can't kill a moss giant. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. These ones are a much higher level than than the other ones in uh, Varok for some reason. But a much easier task that we can get done is chopping a hundred teak logs here in Prif, so that should be easily done. There we go, chop 100 teak logs in Prif. That's an 80 point task, Jesus Christ. There's also a task for making 50 uh, teak planks, so we're going to go ahead and run back and forth um, two or three times to do that here. Okay, there we go, that's actually another 80 point task. That's, that's a lot of points for really not a lot of work there. Well, 160 points because it's two 80 point tasks for the chopping and the planks. Okay, I actually didn't realise that there's also a... Uh, a task here for buying a drink in the all night, which I could have done really quick, uh, really quick earlier as well. Okay, next thing I want to do here is I'm going to go and uh, just kill some wizards over at the tower for two reasons. One, I need to get a wizard robe drop um, because I've got a task for a uh, wearing a robe and a hat, so that's a task. I also need to get a water talisman that they drop uh, because I've got a task for crafting some runes as well. So we're going to go and kill a few of these. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get the uh, 1 in 18 wizard robe drop. Uh, the water talisman is a 1 in 42 drop, so hopefully we don't spend too much time here. I'd really, not like to, I'd really like to not waste too much time. Nice, we actually just got the uh, water talisman drop. That didn't take very long at all, now we just need the robe. So it shouldn't take too long, that's actually the easier drop, so I'm glad I got the talisman. Uh, I mean, how many was this? I killed 7. It took 7 kills to get the water talisman, so really not taking too long at all. Okay, we rather annoyingly, uh, we've killed 34 wizards at this point, so we're actually definitely over 
uh, over drop rate for it with these guys. I've rather annoyingly got another ward Hasman that I just genuinely don't need, so that's great. Yeah, good job, wizards. Also, not really what I came here to do, but I've got 40, uh, 40 melees now, so that's nice. I can wear my rune armor that I've got in the bank uh, when I can be asked to go put it on. Um, so yeah, brilliant. Off to uh, push the strength training for a while now. There we go, we got the robe, finally. Okay, that's one task complete. 40 points for some reason. Again, I feel like that's quite easy. Just going to run over here and grab myself a uh, rune full helm. Oh, didn't mean to grab it noted. That's the one thing that's annoying about fire sale. It's a very minor thing, but you kind of just do that a lot. I think there's a task of getting uh, wearing full adamant as well. Uh, so I'm going to go and get some of that too. Uh, so now we need to go to Edgeville to get our uh, plate bonnet too. Okay, there is a task for wearing a full rune set. And there is a task for a full adamant set as well. There we go, craft any rune is done. And it's an easy task in the lumber and drainer area, so that's nice. Next thing I think I want to do is get uh, base level 5, because that's just going to be super, super quick. I've got some uh, Guam potions to make here, which should make some attack potions. This should get me to, uh, hopefully... Oh yeah, look at that. All the way to 9, that fast. Really didn't have to worry about that at all. Uh, next is range, I need to get some range levels. Um, trying to think about what I actually have in the bank that can, I can use for ranged. This is actually the first time I'm using the uh, the combat style that I have my relic for. <laughs> I've gone this long without actually using it yet. And um, I'm quite happy with the feeling of shooting this many arrows this quick. It's quite fun, actually. And then the last one is to get five farming, which is actually going to be a little bit annoying, because there's not really any way I can get those first five levels fast. I have to wait. I'm going to have to wait for something to grow, uh, which is kind of annoying. Um, I think the best place for me to do this is in... Uh, in Prif again, there's some allotment patches there. Plant some, uh, plant some seeds, and uh, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Potato seeds, I think, is what I need. So the nice thing is that the payment for uh, protecting potato is onions, and there are is actually an onion. I can buy onions from a shop here in Prif, so that's nice. Oh, nice. We got a task for that. That's cool. And a task for protect, paying someone to protect our crops as well, so that's nice. Oh, nice! We didn't even wait, need to wait for it to grow. Just raking and planting things was enough to uh, to get to farmer level five. We got base level five now. Nice and easy task to get done as well. Uh, another easy task we can do is just using these two prayers at the same time. I don't even know if that was a task to be honest. So nice. Okay, I'm actually going to smith uh, some stuff here because I need two more levels here um, to get to 30 and then I can smith a steel bar which is another task. Okay, there we go, 30 smithing. Okay, here we are. I'm very surprised that um, there's not that many people here to be honest. Um, but I'm going to be here to get some... Oh, that was a task as well, didn't even know. I didn't even know that. I'm just getting here to get the uh, stuff to smith a steel bar to be honest. Um, I think this is going to be a really good place to just hang out uh, and get some mining and smithing levels uh, when I'm, you know, looking to do some AFK activities. To be honest, because I literally there's, it, I'm going to be able to do it all right here. I'm going to be able to mine down here, just get everything. Um, I could I could feasibly stay here to get 99. Go upstairs, have the closest furnace to a uh, to a bank, closest anvil to a bank, and just you know bang out both of those as soon as I have. Uh, have all the relics to get the, uh, the experience rates so really couldn't be any happier with the uh, with this situation to be honest okay we've mined a bunch of iron and coal oh there's a crystal impling there as well that's so annoying ah oh, oh well well we can't get that yet that's for sure so let's go and get some steel bars and silver There we go, smelt steel bar, that's a 40 point task as well. This is a nice 400 point task, which is easy as pie. I literally just, I can get these crystal crowns for free and uh, I can literally just put one on and it was a 400 point task. You really can't say, uh, you really can't complain uh, at 400 free points basically. Okay, I've quickly gotten uh, 33 smithing because there is a task for 
smithing some steel uh dot what's it uh steel i can't find where it is now false that's it there we go task complete 40 points okay there's another quick task i can do here as well i need to get my knife out i get some willow logs out and if i fletch myself a willow shield And then equip it. That is a task. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is there is two tasks that I can get done for uh, catching 100 lobsters and then also cooking 100 lobsters. Um, so that should be pretty easy to get done. I just need to go buy myself a lobster pot and then sit on the coast for five minutes catching, basically. Okay, I got halfway through catching. I'm actually going to take a break from this because I've been looking at some of the tasks. And there are some other tasks I can get done that will actually get me to the next relic right now, which increases my XP rate, so we're going to go do those. I'm in absolute shambles, so it turns out I uh, cannot get <laughs> any crafting molds at the minute, um, <laughs> because I don't have a region that gives me it. So, uh, that's... Uh, that kind of sucks. I mean, I could get a ring mold with a 1 in 128 chance from a barbarian in Varrock, in Barbarian Village, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. So that's making an emerald ring uh, is not a task I can do, and uh, the use a gold ring on the Wilderness Volcano is not a task I can do. So that's 80 points uh, down the drain. So that's a shame. There is a Wacker Canoe built, that's 40 points. Actually, another really quick task we can get done over here in Prif as well, uh, because there is actually another uh, armor task where I need to put on the full mithril set, and I can get a full mithril set from right here. So, bang, 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 ten point task complete. There's also a task here for cooking a rabbit, so that's another ten point task done. Okay, next we're going to quickly bang out Demon Slayer, that's a 40 point task to get that done. That's time for probably the easiest boss fight I'm ever going to do in, uh, in Leagues 4. Thank you, Quest Helper. Man, whoever invented that in plugin for Runelight is a god amongst men. Nice one, 40 points. Easily done. 40 po oh, 10 points, stealing some silk, nice. Another task done, 40 points, ring all of the Prif bells, so that's nice and easy. We're only 20 points off now, so really not very far at all. Dire Cape Orange is a task, 10 points, 10 points to go. Okay guys, we are 3 unpowered orbs away from completing another task. There we go, enough for tier 5. Bang. Time to unlock a new relic. As of uh, the latest information I have available, the least popular relic at tier 5 is Bloodthirsty. So bang, we're locking that in. Now, I'm not too familiar with what this does. Basically, it just I believe it just makes superior Slayer monsters appear more and make them better. I think that's generally the idea. Uh, and I can also get new tasks and cancel tasks by uh, using the Slayer Gem, which is kind of useful, I guess. And I get some extra Slayer points from killing the Slayer superior creatures. And, of course, my XP multiplier goes up, so that's good too. I'm actually going to spend some time doing some Slayer and leveling up my uh, my range level. It's still pitifully low, uh, but yeah, as you can see, we're leveling up pretty fast, uh, just doing some, some light Slayer tasks, so shouldn't take too long. Nice little easy one, equipping, equipping a studded body and chaps. This is why I waited to do like things like this until I got the higher XP rates. I'm not even halfway done on this task yet. Uh, well, only just halfway done. And I've gone from 7 range all the way up to 40. Um, yeah, you really can't complain about that. And I've also got like multiple giants keys, which is super nice. Okay, guys. We, uh, I've completed this uh, Slayer task, we got, let's have a look at my loot count, we got 5 Limpwort loot roots, which is reasonably useful for crafting stuff, uh, 7 Giant's Keys, which is great, some seeds, and most importantly we got all the way to 47 range, I've just got that just now, so 
Uh, yeah, it's... That was a lot of levels. That was like 40, over 40 levels just with, uh, just the, the one task, like 40 hill giants. I've also banked a all of the bones, uh, because I do only need a few more levels in prayer, uh, to get to all the overheads. So, I may go and do that right now, to be honest, and get, uh, get those done. A bonus to leveling up, I actually filled my inventory, uh, with bones before leaving hill giants, got all the way to, uh, 49 ranged. Uh, the bonus of that is that I now get to come here and buy a maple short bow and a maple U, uh, a U short bow. Uh, equip the maple one for 10 points and equip the U one for 40 points. So, yeah, that's great. One inventory and that got us all the way to having the, all the overheads and, the, and then some actually. Uh, and there's a task for using that one as well. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm enjoying having the wilderness actually. I don't understand why it's something that so few people picked. I think maybe it's just because people don't like being PK'd, but um, I've literally seen one person in the wilderness so far and they were just stood still and logged out on while I ran past them. So yeah, other than the, the Ferrex Enclave. At the Ferrex Enclave I've seen people like inside of it, but literally never seen anybody other than that. Started to do another uh, another inventory of bones. I got to 50 uh, prayer, by the way, which is I think probably gonna you know do me pretty well until I uh, you know want to do really high end PVM stuff. And by by that point, I'm probably gonna be able to just do soul wars for the rest of it. So no problem. I bought one of these capes on the way past because it turns out that um, that is an easy task in the wilderness area to put one on while you're in the wilderness. And if I, I've come here one, having one on before. Uh, but if you already have one on when you enter, that doesn't count, so, yeah. Okay, boys, I'm now doing a thing that I've never done before, and that's Revenants. I've actually literally never in my life done Revenants, so uh, this is a completely new thing for me. Let's uh, see if I just straight up die or something. Nice, task done, got a bracelet of Ethereum. Alright guys, this is about uh, as long as I can manage today, I'm running out of time, it's nearly midnight. Uh, got this Revenant task still going, um, the Hobgoblins are pretty easy to kill at this point. We just got to 60, first level 60 actually, I didn't even realise I was that close. Just been kind of AFKing, just clicking on one every couple of minutes. Um, and yeah, well, you can see we've already got some resources, some Dragonstones and stuff like that, so pretty good going. Might finish this on mobile in a little bit, but uh, but yeah, I think this was a good day for considering I only had sort of five hours to do so. So yeah, I think this was a good one. All right, guys. Literally just before I logged off, I uh, got a nice little dragon plays coat drop. So that's cool. Can't wear it though, but yeah, very cool. Okay, guys. I'm still here and look I got a drop of two dragon play legs <laughs> that's actually in like you know it's not the most amazing item in the world but I've only killed 70 rev uh, revenant fucking hobgoblins at this point and the drop rate for these is uh, one in 725 and I've gotten three um, yeah that's pretty cool yay